guys, Archer here. Today I'm going to do a Pimax Crystal hardware review. This is not a unboxing review. I already unboxed it, so that's that. So this is the headset. You have some active cooling vents in the front, some on the top, uh, the side, you have the DMAS, and um, you have a battery back here in the back. This is this dial is used to adjust the uh, the, um, the thing on your head. So this headset is pretty heavy. Okay, this is like a one kilo at least, if not more. But the battery back here um, kind of balances it out, and you don't feel the weight on your head. You have uh, you have the IPD adjustment buttons right here. You have the power button here, and then you have the volume up and down button right there. Okay, so also has a wire and a battery. Yeah, go figure. Okay, more on that uh, in a minute. So the the cable itself is like I think it's like six meters, five or six meters. I forgot. So uh, one of the connectors here is the display port okay this goes in your computer the other two are just usb 2 and usb 3 okay now put this on the side you also get this pouch the battery goes in and then you can charge it from here i believe it's usb c yes so the mechanism to get the battery out is pretty stupid first you loosen one end then you loosen the other end which is very hard sometimes so battery comes out okay that's that and you push it in you can hear the click which is i don't know stupid engineering on pimax's part over so comes with these two controllers which obviously i'm never gonna use because i'm a simmer i fly mainly bms sometimes dcs mainly bms okay so put them to the side as well now the biggest problem that I had with this headset, the first two days that I used it was because of this, this thing. This is a USB hub, okay? They call it the USB hub. Well, it is a USB hub. One on the side, three on the side. Then you have one for power and the other one for this strange USB micro or mini or whatever they call it so they want you to connect these two USBs in here and then connect this to power which is right here comes in a box okay after that this of course goes to your video card so this is what they want you to do this is their standard operating procedure their video on the th youtube by the um, pimax channel so when you connect this initially when i got it i was happy i'm like oh let's go so i connected it right here okay and then this goes into one of your pcs usb slots okay and of course these two are connected here one here, one here, done. Now, when you turn on the headset, guess what? Your PC does not find the headset. And you're thinking your headset is broke. But then, one day I was just fiddling with it. So, you see this this wobble here? I'm going to show you this wobble here in a second. Uh, right here. See this wobble here? See how much the wobble is in this wire? So when I will push this wire down all the way, voila, it will find my headset immediately. And then I can fly, I can do things. I'll turn it off and I guess this gets loose overnight and I'll come back and I turn it back on, nothing. So this is absolute garbage. This is, this is a war crime, this right here, okay? They should not have sent this hub. They should have sent a better hub if they don't want people to yell at them basically okay so this i actually bought a new wire i thought the wire was bad this kind of, but turns out this connector inside is loose 
it's soldered onto the PCB board. And down here, some of the solders are either loose or it just, it's just a bad product. It's just that simple. I bought my own hub, connected it, turned the headset on. As soon as I connected it, it came on. No issues at all. So this is, this is pure garbage. When you get your Pimax crystal, don't use this. This is the worst thing you can do to yourself. Now, this is done over with, throw that away, throw this away too. But now, when you, the reason why they want you to connect these to the hub, powered hub is because one of the USBs, I believe it's this one, receives power through the wire and goes into the headset and it keeps the battery charged, or at least give you five, six hours, which is true. I have used it in that capacity and it works. But if you do not want your, like a big USB hub that you just don't have the space, whatever, you should buy one of these chargers. This is a, a 30 watt fast charger, okay? And you connect one of the USB two, not the USB three, but the two in here and you plug it into the wall socket or power socket, and guess what? You have five to six hours of play time easily. Now, if you want this thing to be charged indefinitely, what you can do is, again, this is something that I hate doing or don't wanna do is, you run another USB-C connected here and then round up the cable, then you have two wires, two cables, and connect the other end in here. And guess what? Your headset will be completely charged forever. You don't have to like swap batteries or charge them, it's, it'll stay charged like forever. Now, I've heard some people on the Discord saying that if you have it connected it all the time, it heats up the headset inside. It will it will be warm to the touch all around here, front side. I have not experienced that. I can't really tell you that it's true or not. So yeah. And the other thing that the, the one of the biggest thing that I experienced with this headset was on DCS, if I had um Hyper threading on in my motherboard, it was terrible. In the UI, it was slideshow. I couldn't even turn. It was like like this, like it was skipping, and it was just terrible. So yeah, so turned that off, came in, and of course it worked from day one. I'm very happy with the product. It is a very high resolution uh, headset. There is absolutely no guard rays at all. Um, the chromatic aberrations, it depends. If you're looking for it, you'll find it. But if you're in that moment where you're amazed by the colors, local dimming and all that stuff, you're just going to pass over it. There's no other way to describe this, how good it is. It has the best displays um, I have yet to experience in any other headset. Um, it has the, the QLED displays, which colors are very nice, very, the best colors I have seen anywhere. I was talking to one of my friends and I said, using this headset is like, um, strapping on two 4K HDR screens, to displays to your face, basically. Uh, so let's. Let's come down to the price now, since this video has gotten longer now. This was initially uh, $15.99, okay, with pre-order uh, bonus, they got it down to $15.70. So I paid $1,570 with shipping included for this headset. Is it a good purchase? Yes. Uh, for the money, absolutely. If you go and 
by uh, Wajiero, it's over two grand. And it's, it's not good as this. So this is pretty much it. This is all the hardware review that I can do. I only have this for, I got it three weeks ago. So yeah, this is, um, this is definitely a success story. Um, software is in, uh, they're, they're improving the software with dynamic Fourier rendering, the um, eye tracking and all that. But other than that, yeah, it's uh, definitely a winner. So, so I'll do a, another part of the same video, which I'll show the, uh, I'll fly in a little bit. And that'll be the part two of pretty much this video. All right, see you guys in the next.